A decluttered and simplified space is one of the most life-changing things that you can do. I am going to take you back looking over the past five years of my decluttering journey and share with you some of my top tips for decluttering your space, some of the things I have learned. Number one, get into a clean surface when you're decluttering. It doesn't matter if things are disorganized and in disarray. If you can just pile them up on a flat surface, a clean surface, this will make decluttering so much less overwhelming. The basement has been one area that has consistently overwhelmed me throughout my decluttering journey. It is even something today that I still struggle with keeping clean and organized. This next tip though applies to any overwhelming space, whether this is your entire house, your master bedroom, your closet, any area of your home that is currently overwhelming you. Try not to see it as one enormous project. Work one section at a time. When you've got boxes and bins and things are literally bagged up in heaps and in piles, it can be really overwhelming to approach it in terms of categories because just sorting is such a huge job in and of itself. So rather than spending all this time sorting through and trying to get things categorized, just take it one square foot at a time. Start in one corner and again, bring it upstairs, lay it out. Bring it into another space um, that's not as messy. Even if it's still messy, if it's less messy, that's better. For me, an area with lots of light is very helpful. This is a small thing, but I'll even open a window, light a candle, anything to help the mood improve and help me feel like I'm not in a suffocating space. For so many years, I used my kids as one of the excuses as to why I couldn't declutter, why I did not have time, energy, or the capacity to take on decluttering my home. And something that I've learned is that decluttering alongside your children, although it is slower, is still incredibly productive. It's amazing to have them see you declutter, letting them know that it's just stuff. We can still keep our favorite things and we can value things, but there are limits. I learned very, very quickly once I got started into, into the decluttering process that kids really benefit from this and I can make progress even with a toddler underfoot or a new baby or a huge pregnant belly. I was amazed and shocked at how much easier it was than I thought it was going to be and I was sad that I didn't get started sooner. So don't let your kids be the excuse just begin. If you are just in the beginning stages of decluttering, start with the boring stuff. Start with the stuff that you care the least about. I started in my pantry. It's hard to get rid of food and see yourself wasting things and oh my gosh, it's expired and got moldy. But do not start with your favorite stuff. In fact, let me know what your favorite stuff is in the comment section. I would love to know for me. It's little kid clothes. <laughs> This one's really hard for me. I think they're so sweet and it's just the passing of time. So I get really sentimental and weepy over decluttering kids clothes. But if you are just getting started and your decluttering muscles are not built up and strong and trust me, they get stronger with time. Start with the boring stuff. Start with a, you know, junk drawer. Start in the pantry, start in the fridge, somewhere that you really don't care about the stuff. Once I really took on the idea and the concept of my home being a container, I started to make a lot more progress. I started to understand that the reason my house was so out of control, felt so messy and was so hard to manage and maintain was because I was not respecting the limits or the boundaries of my house. It doesn't matter how many square feet you have. It doesn't matter if, you, if you're in the home of your dreams. And it honestly doesn't matter what kind of organization systems or the lack of organization systems that you have. It really doesn't matter. All you need to do is see your entire home as a container, realize that that is your boundary. Those are your limits. And if you can stay comfortably within those limits, even getting rid of darling things, I, I ended up regretting for a while getting rid of this little 
cloth book for my daughter thinking it was so cute. Why did I get rid of that? But honestly, I was just trying to respect the limits and the boundaries of the space. And that's the right thing to do. Even if you get rid of things that you end up regretting for a time or for a season, if you can just respect the limits and boundaries of your home, every drawer, every dresser, every bin is letting you know you can keep what fits inside this space. When your house starts feeling out of control, you're feeling stressed, things are hard to maintain, I think it's very tempting to let the absolute first thing you do is go to an obscure bin. This was what I was really tempted to do at first. If I was feeling crazy overwhelmed, I would run down to the basement and grab some random bucket. Although progress is still progress, this did not make as much of a difference as if I had decluttered a space in my kitchen because I'm in there every single day. If I had decluttered some items in my closet, this would have been really helpful because I'm in there every single day. So I think our initial thought is to go and declutter out of an area that's been really on our mind that we know is very obviously out of control, but the better thing to do is to clutter spaces that you are in and that you use every single day. These are usually the visible areas of your home. Be ready and willing to declutter anything. I had just bought this rug only to find out it got stained immediately. It was a nightmare. It was the complete wrong, wrong thing to have in that space. Get into the toys. If the kids aren't playing with it or the games, it doesn't matter if you just bought it. Get rid of it. Declutter it. Let nothing be off limits. Guilt was something that held me back for the longest time. I kept this pink pillow. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I'll use it eventually until I just realized, no, we're not using it now. I'm going to declutter it. Don't declutter your spouse's stuff. This is one of the questions that I get the most often on my channel. You're writing into me saying, I'm so frustrated. I really want to declutter my space, but my spouse is not on board. My spouse is a hoarder. I cannot get them to declutter anything. Focus on the areas that you are in charge of. For me, this is my own stuff, obviously. And then when my kids are really, really little, I declutter their stuff and I help them declutter their stuff. I always allow them. See, she picked up something that I was going to get rid of. I totally let her keep that. So just declutter the things that you're in charge of and then help come up with a system that could help um, your spouse. So one thing that my mom jokes, but this is a true thing she used to do, is put my dad's stuff in boxes. It was a way for him to keep all of his stuff, but it was also a way for her to keep it out of the way. So she had a system of boxes and bins that she knew if my dad's stuff got left all over the floor, and my husband does this as well, he leaves stuff all over the floor, um, she just put his stuff in a box. And this is a great thing to get permission to do, but don't declutter your spouse's stuff, just declutter your stuff, help the kids with theirs, and then come up with a system so that you can handle the fact that your spouse is not decluttering alongside you. When you're done with a decluttering project, count up the items. It is a amazing how much more you're getting rid of than you think. Sometimes just like with weight loss or any other goals we might have, it can be so discouraging and you feel like I haven't made that much progress and I've worked so hard. If you count up the items and keep a running tally, you will be absolutely mind blown at the things you get rid of in the beginning. Count garbage and give yourself credit for every single solitary thing you're decluttering. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe on your way out and I'll see you soon. Bye.